What's up everyone, Chase Beacott here for Operation Sports and today I want to take you through my first Draft Champions Draft. I want to do this on a couple levels. One, it's a new mode in Mad 16, so it's just good to check it out in a little bit more depth. And two, because it, it speaks to a lot of my sensibilities. I'm a big fan of playing Hearthstone, and more specifically the Arena mode, because I get to pick my own deck each time. I also, of course, love All Pro Football 2K, and I loved how they did their rating system with the tiers, because then it meant you had to focus on specific strengths and weaknesses. Also, I when I do play Ultimate Team, I tend to change my team almost every game, so this is a good way for me to just get a new team uh, through and through every little bit, and that's nice to me. And also, in theory, it means a lot of teams will be about even. You don't have to worry about going up against super stacked teams like you would in Ultimate Team a lot of the time. And also because I don't generally like to stack my team anyway because I just feel kind of weird having a 90-plus rated player at all positions. It speaks to me on that level as well, so we're going to get into this here momentarily, and I'll just be maybe giving a little commentary here on each of my picks, and just we'll see how this goes. So I know this mode is always going to start with you picking your coach because that's going to set up your playbook and also your team style, which will help generate your base team. As you can see, uh, Rex Ryan here, Ken Wisenhunt, John Fox, and each will come with their own strengths. I think I obviously have to go with Rex Ryan here because, I mean, he loves his wife. He loves Mark Sanchez. He loves feet. That's a pretty good triumvirate. And he's also never had a really good quarterback, so I feel bad for him. So, yeah, Rex Ryan, he's my guy. Let's go, Rex. So picking Rex is going to generate my base team here. And we'll see what we get. Okay, three legends right off. Left or right. So Ty Law, I think he was a former Jet, but I don't think Rex and him well, were on the Jets at the same time. Plus, he's a former Patriot. So Bill Belichick means Rex Ryan's not taking Ty Law. John Randall's awesome. And he wore a lot of eye black, and that stuff is really hard to get off, so big ups for that. 2003, Ladanian Tomlinson's probably the 1,000-yard rushing 100 reception year, but defensive tackles are beast in Madden and John Randall. Again, the eye black is clutch. So I got to go John Randall, I think, here. It's, uh, it's hard, but got to go with him. Okay, so, all right, Alex Smith. If it was later in the draft, I might go with Alex Smith. Plus, I think... Alex Smith would be the best quarterback Rex Ryan's ever had, which is, yeah, that's kind of sad, but Rex isn't making this draft. Rex, trust me, I'm going to get you a better quarterback, I think. If this was a franchise, I could go with Lane Johnson, but since it's not, I'm probably going to go Alex Boone. I probably will go with a more heavy run attack if possible, and Alex Boone, being a really good guard, I feel a little bit better about him. Okay, so... I think definitely I go Jeremy Hill here. He had an unreal second half of his rookie year last season. Plus, it just fits Rex Ryan style so perfectly. Pointing out, though, that Rick Wagner, so if I had picked Lane Johnson last round, I would have had another right tackle here who was theoretically the best player of these three. So there you go with that draft champions thing right there. You don't know what's going to come out. And Edelman's, of course, out because Bill Belichick, Rex Ryan thing again. Mm, okay, so I got the Mr. Elite Joe Flacco, but... Again, still a little early. I feel like there will probably be another quarterback. Rex Ryan, again, probably is taking Flacco here, but I think i got to go with Bethay. I think he's still kind of underrated. He's had a great career. Former Howard alum. Plays man defense. Gilmer plays zone, which Rex is probably not going to want to do unless he has to. Mm, yeah, i got to go Holly here. Sort of a down year, but still he's a 3-4 rushing linebacker. Everson Griffin's more of a 4-3 end. And I just picked a safety, so I'm going to go with Holly. Oh, my God. Okay, so uh, the best guard in the game, probably the best left tackle in the game, and one of the best wide receivers in the game. It's Madden Choi, so I should go with Julio here, but I got to go with Joe Thomas, I think. It, yeah, Joe Thomas is so good. I mean, they're all so good, but, yeah, I'm going to do the non-Madden thing, and I'm going to pick the lineman over the receiver. Yeah, I think they got the best player there, and they got a guy that fills a big need. So okay, so in theory, I should probably go with Dwight Freeney here, even though I have Holly, I could move him to the other side. But poor John Abraham, I think he's probably done. I don't think he's going to play ever again. He had an amazing career, but I'm pretty sure the concussion symptoms he's still having, I don't think he's ever going to get back on the field. So I kind of want to take him out of tribute. Okay, they get themselves a good player, but you wonder if they wouldn't have been... All right, so Morgan Burnett's out because they got Bethay. Uh, Derek Johnson's coming off a really bad Achilles injury. I think he's so good. But the Achilles, even though it's a video game, I'm always scared of Achilles. Vincent Jackson's a tall, tall man. It's probably a really prototypical receiver for Madden. 
So I think I'll go with Vincent Jackson here, even though I still don't have a quarterback yet who I don't know. So I don't know who's going to be throwing to him. Okay, so I'm actually a huge Ryan Tannehill fan, but I'm not going to go with him here. I think i got to go with Upati. It's a great signing by the Cardinals, I think, even though I think he's hurt now. I think he's going to need knee surgery maybe, but solidifies the line even further. I'm going Upati. Okay, so I would go Franklin here, but I already have two guards. Jermichael Finley, I think he's, like, done with football. I'm pretty sure his neck surgery didn't go very well. So I'm pretty sure he shouldn't ever be on a football field. So I don't think I can pick him, even though I should, because I already have John Randall. I, I like Fairley a lot, though. I can play him on pass downs with Randall, I guess. So I think I go Fairley here. But, yeah, this is, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not in love. I'm not in love with these options. Mm, easy. It's round 11. I don't have a quarterback yet, and I have a chance to pick Matt Ryan, who I would consider being right outside the top five in terms of QBs in the NFL. And I already have a running back and starting wide receiver. So Matt Ryan, easy choice here. Okay, so I passed on Derek Johnson earlier, but since I have one good safety in Bethay, I don't have a middle linebacker yet. I think I got to go with Brandon Marshall here. Sorry, Danell Ellerby. I don't trust you manning the middle by yourself. Oh, man. Okay, so Eddie Lacy would be the one guy maybe better than Jeremy Hill to have for this style. AJ Green is amazing, but I have a receiver. I don't have a starting cornerback yet. This is a Rex Ryan team. Defense has to come first. I got to go Joseph. All right, so I already have two really good guards, so Lang's out. Russell Wilson came out here, so I could have passed on Matt Ryan, but, you know, I'll be that guy and say I'd rather have Matt Ryan than Russell Wilson. Maybe not in video games, but... I feel like Matt Ryan probably fits in a couple more systems than Russell. And Travis Frederick, probably the best young center in the game, if not the best center in the game behind Nick Mangold, so he makes my line even better. I got to go with him. Oh, man, and I still could have waited on quarterback, maybe. But, I'm again, still okay with my pick. I would have been even more upset if I had picked Russell. Davis, you know, I already have Jeremy Hill. I already have a really good left tackle, obviously, in Joe Thomas. But Walter Jones... I, I think I can make this work. I'll have them arm wrestle each other and figure out who wants to be the starting left tackle. The other one will move to right tackle. And I basically have one of the best offensive lines you can assemble. So obviously I will be focusing on running the ball with this team. There's no, there's no question. And overall, you know, you could definitely feel the risk reward of that mode, kind of gambling and waiting on quarterbacks or going forward early and making sure you have one. And my team, you know, the, the team philosophy kind of came out of the picks is I have a really good offensive line, and I picked a really good offensive line because I got a really good running back early, or at least one I really like in Jeremy Hill. Then I got to have a really, really solid quarterback late. So even though I don't have a lot of weapons outside of Vincent Jackson, I feel pretty okay about having at least a guy who I know can put the ball where it needs to be for the most part. So maybe in other words, in Matt Ryan I trust, and Rex Ryan I'm sure is not complaining because, again, Matt Ryan is about 10 million times better than any quarterback he's ever had. So he's still he's still thanking me. I'm not letting him kiss my feet or anything, but he's he's pretty pleased with how this draft went. I think I think I got a pretty solid Rex Ryan style team. Again, you don't have to do what I did and try to draft for your coach a little bit. But hey, it's another thing. It's another way you can kind of get into this mode, I guess, if you want to draft for your your coach's style and really be on point with that. Anyway, that should about do it for me. You can tell me how garbage, how trash, how terrible some of my picks were if you want. You can call me out because I said I would take Matt Ryan over a quarterback who's already been to two Super Bowls and won one. And, you know, we just, I don't remember what happened the other one. That was last year. I can't remember that long ago. That's so, fall, that's so long ago. Who can remember that? All right, I'm done. I'm out. Later.